What's up, Calc Gang? All right, so we got this uh, this medical problem, physics problem here. So let's just go ahead and get started with it. So you can read it if you want. I'm not gonna be using the terminology. I'm just gonna learn how to solve the problem, right? I'm just gonna teach you how to solve the problem. So let's draw what we got, right? Uh, so let's simplify this system. So let's say we have a cylinder, right? Uh, it looks something like this, right? And it gets smaller over here, right? This radius here is gonna be smaller here because you know it's getting blocked by the plaque or whatever. Uh, yeah, blocked by the plaque. So it gives us the pressure here. So let's label this A, and let's label this B. That's gonna make us a lot easier. So pressure at A is equal to 1.2 times 10 to the four, that's a given, Pascals. And pressure at B is equal to 1.15 times 10 to the four, Pascals. So there's actually a little bit less pressure over there. And it gives us the velocity here. So velocity at A is equal to 0.3 meters a second. And what are we trying to find? We're trying to find uh, how much of the, you know, how much gets, or what percentage of the cross-sectional area is blocked by plaque. So let's go ahead and start doing that. All right. So to do that, we're going to need to find the areas at each one of these points, right? And to find the area at each one of these points, we're going to need to use this equation here. Velocity at A times the cross-sectional area of A is equal to velocity at B times the cross-sectional area of B. So we're gonna need these two. Basically, we're trying to find a ratio between these two things. So we have velocity at A, and we're gonna need velocity at B. How are we gonna find velocity at B, right? Um, we're gonna use Bernoulli's equation. That's the equation that can, that can uh, relate pressure to velocity. So let's go ahead and do that. Do we have anything else? Um, oh, I think you gave us the specific gravity. Okay, that's cool. All right, let me, let's, let's get started with Bernoulli's equation first. Okay, we can go right up here to this line. Okay, so Bernoulli's equation is pressure at A plus density, gravity, height at A plus one half density, uh, what is this number? <laughs> what am I doing? Make sure I don't get anything wrong. We have velocity at A squared is equal to pressure at B plus density, gravity, height at B plus one half density, velocity, b squared. So let's, this is the long form of the equation, and we're not gonna use all this, right? So we're just kind of assuming that they're gonna be at the same height. So this part, height's gonna be zero, or these heights are gonna be equal to each other. So these are just gonna cancel out, so we can ignore those for now. That's kind of not the problem that we're trying to solve today. So we have pressure A, pressure B, we have the velocity A, and then the only unknown is the velocity of B. We also need to find uh, density, right? We need to find density. So it gives us the specific gravity of, de or of, our, of our blood. So it says the specific gravity is the, the blood is 1.06, right? So we need to know what specific gravity is. So specific gravity, I don't know what the, the notation for it is, but that's the density of whatever liquid over the density of water. Density of water is 1,000. So we know that the specific gravity is 1.06, and we're trying to find the density of our liquid and then that's over the density of water, which is 1,000. So you multiply 1,000 by this, and you're gonna get the density of the blood is equal to 1060 kilograms meter cubed. So there you go, that's, that's one number we need. So basically we can plug this into here. So let's do that. So you're gonna get 1.2 times 10 to the four plus one half the density, 1060, uh, velocity at A, 0 0.3 squared, that's going to be equal to uh, 1.15 times 10 to the 4 plus 1 half density again, 1060, and then velocity at B squared. So yeah, this is just numbers now. Basically what you do is you'd, you know, you do the math of this part, and then you subtract it by this part, multiply it by 2, divide it by this, basically, and then take the square root. I'm sure you guys know how to do this. So you're going to get velocity of B is equal to 1.02 meters a second squared. Not squared, meters per second normal. That's its velocity. Okay, so we found velocity of B, and then we can go back to our equation that we wrote here earlier. Let's do it. So we're trying to find how much is blocked. So we're trying to find the area at B over the area at A, right? If you take area at B over area of A, you're gonna get um, a fraction, right? And that's gonna give you like how much of the area is left over, basically. So let's do that. 
you're going to see how much, uh, like what relative size b is to a if you get a over b. So what you can do is we can go ahead and uh, divide a, the area of b, or I guess we can divide area of a on this side. So you're going to get b of a is equal to b b area of b over area of a. Then you're going to divide by velocity of b. So it's going to be velocity a over velocity b is equal to area of b over area of a. All right. So velocity of a is 0 0.3 and then the velocity of b is 1.02. So when you calculate that out, you're going to get um, 0 0.295, which is equal to 29.5%, which is not the final answer. What this number is saying is that b is 29.5% the size of a. So if you're trying to find how much is blocked, you're going to take 100% and subtract it by this number, 5%. And that's going to get you the final answer, which is 70.5% is blocked by a plaque. So that's how you do this kind of problem. There's a lot of steps. You have to use like two different equations. So it can get really complicated, but you basically want to start out by writing what you need to know and how you're going to figure that out. And then from there, you can just plug in what you know, use the equations that you know, and see what's going to work. So if you need more help with your physics homework, uh, come to me. I got a lot of problems on my channel and you can learn a little bit. And yeah, I appreciate all the support guys. I'll see you in the next video.